Hi guys, Danny Crouch here. And I wanted to talk to you today about what's in a name, or more importantly, what's in your name. You may have heard in the past uh, someone mentioned that the most important word in the English language, or whatever language you speak, or the, the most important word in the world to you is your name. Uh, you respond to it all the time, you hear it all the time, and you spark up when you hear it all the time. Uh, have you ever thought about uh, when you're in a room full of people, there might be 5, 10, 15 conversations going on, you can't hear what the other conversations are being heard, uh, but as soon as someone mentions your name, you'll hear it from across the room. Amazing concept. I only heard that recently, and, and it's so true. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you about is something that I find really interesting, and, it, and it's interesting to me, because uh, most of you know my name is Danny or Dan or, or Daniel or even Crouchy for that matter. Uh, my birth name's Daniel, uh, and if you can imagine, and, and everyone sort of has a chuckle when I say this because it resonates within them, that uh, the only time I hear my name Daniel is when my mother used to get angry or upset with me or I was in trouble, or now what I'm finding is when a salesman calls me or someone that has my name that doesn't know me calls me. Uh, so as soon as they say, is that Daniel? I know this isn't a friend because my friends call me Danny or Crouchy. Um, and then more importantly, the close friends, my really close friends and my family call me Dan. Um, so I sort of know who you are by the what, what name you call me. Now the reason I bring this up, it's a really interesting point because I was talking to a, a new client of mine the other day. Uh, her name's Nicole, and hi if you're watching, it's great if you are, if you're not, you'll never know I'm talking about this. Um, she asked me to call her Nicole, I said, what's your name? I, I don't know your name, she said Nicole. We had this discussion um, about where she wanted to go and what she wanted to achieve, and she was really great and happy and fun and all this sort of stuff. Anyway, our second conversation, uh, I started to get some details, phone number, address, and all that sort of stuff, and I actually asked, what's your name? Again, she said, Nicole. Um, she thought first up that I'd forgotten what her name was. That's not true. What I was actually getting to and what I like to understand and what I'm trying to explain today is I want to know your name that you're comfortable with. So if you ask me my name and I don't really know you, I'll probably say Danny. When you get to know me really well, you'll start to call me Dan. And there are other people that call me all these other names and some of them I can't even mention here. They think they're my friends, they think they get along, but truly they don't. They, they call me this name and there is one in particular that I've picked up here on the Gold Coast. They think it's funny. Good luck to them. Uh, but anyway, getting back to my story, and I, I have a uh, habit of doing that, getting off track a little bit, um, I started explaining it to her uh, exactly what I'm doing here and how important a name is. And I just asked her, okay, does anyone call you Nick or Nikki? Because actually my partner's Nicole, and um, I call her Nick, and some of her friends up here call her Nikki, and most of her friends in Sydney call her Nick. Um, and she responds to Nick, and quite often when I call her Nicole, it's when we're in an argument or in a heated situation. So I was explaining this, she said, actually, that's a good question, because I like asking good questions. Um, she said, oh, when I was working at the dental office, um, I, people used to call me Nicky, and friends there used to call me Nicky. Now I'm working where I'm working, they actually call me Nick, and my close friends and family call me Nick. And yeah, you're right. Um, I told her about Danny and Daniel, and she said, yeah, right. Um, when My mother used to call me Nicole when I was in trouble, and it does sort of give me a bit of a sh shiver when I talk about it. And yeah, maybe I don't like being called Nicole. Maybe I will, or, and I said this, maybe you will, maybe you won't. That's okay, whatever you're comfortable with now, because we're focusing on now. Um, and then I said to her, do you realize that I've asked you twice what your name is, and you asked me to call you Nicole? So what you're actually doing there, I believe, is you're going to allow me to call you a name that responds to a memory in your past of when you were in trouble or when so you were upset or, or when someone made you mad. So think about it if you've got kids or your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your husband or, or whoever it is, when you use their name and how you use their name in the context you use it. Because remember, it's the most important word in the world to them. So if they're a Dan or a Danny or a Nick or a Nikki, what do you mean when you say Daniel or Nicole? And what do you mean when you say, hey Danny or hey Nicole or hey Nikki? Um, different tones, different different methods, but it's all in the name because it's important to them and I'm guessing it's important to you. Uh, you may even have a nickname and you love being called your nickname. Whatever it is, share it with the people you love um, and let them call you what you want them to call you. <laughs> I, sorry, I had a little bit of an internal joke there and what some people don't want to be called. But anyway, moving on. Have a great day. Awesome. See ya.